Welcome to Computer Science AS Levels, and we are on our chapter number 11. That's called our programming. And in chapter 11, we are going to continue the topic of structured programming. As we are going to already, we have started library routines, and in library routines, I told you, we have two library routines. Name them, please. Uh, the functions and procedures. Excellent. So we are starting with the topic of procedures first, right? So what is procedure? Any idea? Uh, uh, procedure is... Yeah, come on, try. Procedure hmm. means... It is, add... it is like a ah, well, function can be stored in it, like, uh, like an ability to uh, store an algorithm inside it. Uh, no, let me tell you. Basically, programmers do programming and in a yes. programming we have a very very lengthy codes you know this thing yes sir sometimes in a program a specific piece of code is repeating many times according to the need of the program so okay, that sir. makes your code extra lengthy and takes a lot of time in programming like listen you're writing a code like this. Look, these are your codes. And you're repeating okay, the sir. same code again. Look, you're repeating the same code again. Then new code. Then any previous code repeating your again. Look, repeating. So look, this makes your program coding extended. So procedure is applied to make your program short instead of repeating these statements every time they are required. Many programming languages make use of subroutines called procedure. So, what is it? A procedure is defined once and can be called many times within a program. So, what is it? I am going to store these three lines as a procedure. In the procedure. And okay. instead of writing again here, look, I am not going to write it again. I just call the procedure. Because we are assigning the procedure with a name. Look, with a okay. name. So we need to just call the name. So the computer is going to perform the same task again without writing the code. Okay. Sir. So instead of writing the Understood. code, what do you have to do? You need to call. What do you need to call? Okay. Procedure. The procedure. That is the thing. So procedures makes your program easy, short. Precise. It saves the programmer time. This is called procedure. Okay. Understood. Okay. Now, different terminologies is used by some programming languages. So procedures are wired functions in Python. So if you are using Python, the wired functions you have to use. Subroutines in VB, methods in Java. So these are the three different types of procedures. Every programming language has a different procedure. Okay. Now, how to write the procedure? Let me tell you. First, we are going to read the syntax. Syntax means how to write. So you can see here, you can see here procedure <laughs> right here and the name of the procedure. That's called identifier. Then the statements which you wanted to write and then end the procedure. So this is a simple syntax for writing a procedure. Let's do, okay, an, let's do an example. Achha, after writing it, you need to call the procedure. With the help of what? Identifier. Where is identifier? Look, there it is. Okay. Like your name is Kasim. Just yes, like that. And the procedure needs an identifier, the name, like you, you are named as Kasim. So whenever I need to call you, I said you Kasim. Just like that, the procedure needs a name, a variable, an identifier. So we need to call it once we need it. Is that okay? Yes, sir. Achha. So you have to be very careful and concentrated here. Now, we have a small snippet here. In this, you can see procedure. 
and the identifier. What is the name of identifier? Uh, the the stars. stars. Okay. After this, you see this thing. This thing is called parameter. This thing is called parameter. Parameter means variable. Again, again, variable. Now, what is the need of this? I'm telling you, just a second. Parameter. Listen to me. A stars. What is a star? Do you know? A star yeah, is in the form of number. A stars are in a form of number. What is the data type for number we use? An integer. Excellent. So this is how we are going to tell the program that we need the stars, but in which form? In the form of a number. And numbers are always in the type of data type integer. Okay, sir. Achha, ab suno. Now we are going to start a loop. For counter, one to number. Look, what is number? Tell me again. Look, number we have used with the stars here. So we are going to input stars in a form of number. So one to number, it means we wanted to start a loop. One to number. So number we have to input. So let's suppose I input five. Let's suppose I input. Okay, number five. Five, absolutely. How many times the loop is repeating? Five times. Perfect. Print static. So, on every step of number, an static will be printed. Look. Because we wanted to print a static with the number. So, how many times the static is there? Look, five times. Next counter. Next means one. Then two, then three, then four, and then five. Why our loop is stopped at five? Tell me. Uh, sir, because it was the till like five. The number was assigned five. Exactly. So if I'm going to write fifteen here, so the loop would be till fifteen. And how many stars will be printed? Fifteen. Perfectly fine. And procedure. Now these are the lines as procedure i stored it now in my program if i am going to use it again and again i do not write down the code again and again simply what i have to do call uh, just call procedure with, call the, stars. with the name of look stars because the name of the procedure is stars is that okay yes sir that's great so this is how the procedure is used. Now, listen to me. If you wanted to print seven stars, you write call stars, and then you need to write the number of stars you want. So the number, number, look, I have told you the number up there, 15 or five. This time, how many you want? Uh, seven. So how many stars will be printed? Seven. That's it. So this is a procedure. Procedure means you're writing in the line of codes and that code is stored with the name of a variable identifier that's called star. You need to declare a parameter with the star. Like in which form you want data number. What is the data type for number? Integer. And, that, and then the loop is there. Okay, sir. Now, what do you have to do quickly? Listen to me. You need to write down the procedure in your own wording. Like you can, you can start from here till here. Then you have to come directly to the syntax because I'm using red marker for you because you are able to identify what you have to write. And then you have to okay. write this one. Call, of course, without the syntax, you cannot able to understand. So you have to write this one and then directly you have to write the code. This one and this one. Is that okay? okay sir. Yes, sir. First, I'm going to show you this sheet. And, and listen, this is called structured programming with the topic of subroutines. This is subroutines, library routines, right? So yes, sir. you make this heading. You have only six minutes. <coughs> okay, now we are going to continue with the topic. Functions. Function is another subroutine, right? Okay. Yes, sir. Thing is, they both are the part of subroutines. And they both are similar. 
they both are same. Like you said, sir, you told me that procedure is going to minimize the number of lines, right? And can be called within a program. That's the same thing I teach you? Yes, sir. The same thing is done by the functions also. Look, read this. Same paragraph. Instead of repeating these statements every time they are required, many programming languages make use of subroutines or named function. Look, same thing. A function always returns a value. It is defined once. It can be called many times within a program. So the new thing is, what, what did you notice? <clears throat> a new thing is returning a value. Look, that's the new thing. What do you okay. mean? I'm teach, I will teach you this thing. Don't worry. Look here. The example, the syntax function. Let me erase it just a second. Okay. So what do you, what do you read? Function with the identifier. Is that okay? Look. Yes, sir. And look, we have to write return. What return? A data type. Return means that you are going to output the value. Is that okay? In a form of yes, what, in a form of a data type, whatever the variable is it used in the function. Like if you are using a variable number. So what is the data type for the number? Tell me. That's uh, it. That's so your indeed. answer will be return the integer value. Look, returns okay. integer. Then you need to write a statement and then add function. This is a syntax for writing a function. <clears throat> okay, sir. Okay. Achha, tell me, tell me, if you're using a variable name, then what is the data type? Uh, data type is integer. String. No, the string. String. So, what do you have to return the data? A string. A string. Okay. This is the logic. Okay. Now, I'm teaching you the example. So, you see the example we use for the temperature. We use example for what? For the temperature, right? And what is the data type for temperature? Uh, data type is real. Real. Because temperature is in points. Decimal. That is why we yeah. take it as a real. Is that okay? Yes, sir. Now, I write functions. And what is the name of the identifier? Celsius. <laughs> what is the parameter value? Temperature. This is the variable temperature. And what is the data type for temperature? Real. Real. Not real. Uh, how real. do you return it? Uh, real. In a form of real. a real data type. So you use a formula to print. Look, you again write return because you wanted to output. Output what? The formula. So the temperature value is there. You, you see here, this is a variable temperature. So it means a variable is a temperature. So I write temperature. Temperature is a variable, right? So it means we need to input the value inside of it. So let's suppose you're giving the value 34.0. This is a temperature. Is that okay? Yes, sir. So the value of temperature here, what would be the temperature value here? 34 minus 32. 32 over one over it. 1. 1.8. Can you tell me the answer? Uh, That would be <laughs> 2 over 1.8. One second, sir. Two divided by one point. One point one 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 one. So what is the value? One point one one. This value one. will be returned on the screen. That's a point. Because okay. look, what, what you said here, returns real. So my data yes, is in real form, look. It will be displayed. And then you have to add function. Oh, okay, sir. Is that easy? Yeah, it's easy. Okay, now what do you have to do again? You need to write function definition. I'm using with the right pen. You have to okay. write function definition. You have to write down the syntax. You need to write down this piece of algorithm. Okay, sir. Okay. 
Now our new topic is programming constructs. Programming construct means a conditions. So the most popular and the famous one is if then else statement. Do you know about if then else? I think I teach you already. Uh, yes, sir, you did. Okay. In if then else condition, we use a condition and the condition becomes true or our condition becomes false. It depends upon the condition, right? Just like I teach you. Yes, sir. If H is equals to, or I take greater than or equals to 18, then then print, you can drive. So this is a single construct. In this construct, I give it condition like if your age is greater than or equal to 18, so you can drive, right? But if I'm going to give a choice, like if somebody age is not 18, then I have to insert else, else, Print. Try next year. Are you getting it? Yes, sir. So this type of condition is called if then else, where you are going to give a choices. <clears throat> so right here, if this condition is true, then the print is you can drive. But if the condition is false, like the student age is not greater than 80, his age is 70. So what is the next condition? Try next year. Try next. Okay. Are you getting it? Yes, sir. So if then else, use it this way. <clears throat> okay. Okay, sir. Okay. Now, <clears throat> algorithm. Let's do some algorithm here. Algorithm number what? Fourteen. Yes, sir. Algorithm number 14. Okay, objective. <coughs> Just give me a second. Okay, objective is using pseudo course or otherwise algorithm. Objective using pseudo codes or otherwise algorithms <laughs> write a program to print. Okay, sir. The positive number. <clears throat> 